Hi parents, I just wanted to send a quick video with a few important announcements. Uh, the first thing is that, as you know, we have a clip chart. Uh, please make sure that you're continuing to check your child's folder at the end of each day and signing or initialing in the box of each day so that we know here at school you've seen what color your child was on at the end of the day. Um, if you ever see that their little square is pink and it has a sticker on it, that means that they've clipped up past pink and they're actually on teacher. And so that just lets you know that they did a really, really great job that day. I always tell the kids that when I have their name here on my lanyard and I'm walking around the building, if I see the principals, I'm gonna make sure that I tell the principals that they're having a really great day. Uh, I also wanted to let you know that the clip chart is not something I do all year long. It's something that I feel as the kids are really young when they start kindergarten, it's a really black and white, easy to understand. I make a poor choice, I clip down. I make a great choice, I clip up. It's really black and white and it's very um, immediate and the consequence uh, isn't overwhelmingly scary, uh, but also it is exciting if they do have to clip up. Uh, clipping down just so you know is usually a private thing. I don't yell across the room, so and so clip down. It's usually I walk over there like, hey, that wasn't such a great choice. You're gonna need to clip down. I hope that you use the rest of the day as an opportunity to make better choices and clip back up. Uh, Mrs. Callan and I really do the best that we can to clip kids back up. So if your kid is coming home on yellow, orange, or red, that means that they've had a lot of warnings and they're continuing to make uh, not so great choices throughout the day. Um, I wanted to let you know then as we conclude with our clip chart, which I usually do around the end of October, we, this class seems to be on track with that, if not a little bit sooner, we'll move over to a classroom economy system where the kids can earn coins and then on Friday purchase things out of the treasure box. Uh, the stuff that they purchase out of the treasure box is usually privileges like getting to use special pens for a day or getting to sit up at my table with me for the day uh, wearing slippers to school for the day things like that um, i do have some little trinkets and stuff in my treasure box but they quickly find that the privileges they can buy are much more exciting uh, so i'll be reaching out to you guys around the end of october when we transition over to that I also wanted to touch base about a couple of things that it would be helpful if you're working on at home and it's things that as grown-ups we take advantage we take for granted that we know uh, the first one is parts of a book um, and so we teach the kids that this is the front cover back cover this is the spine the title and then the author and illustrator is usually some sort of small print towards the bottom of the page. Uh, those are the parts of a book. It is assessed for the report card. We talk about them in here all the time. But if you read to your kiddo at home at all, please just go over those questions again. Hey, can you show me the front cover? Where's that spine? It's kind of like our spine. It holds the book together. Um, and then we also have a little saying in here where we say the author writes the words, the illustrator makes the pictures to help them remember those big words of author and illustrator. Um, another thing I wanted to touch base real quick about is our star student. This week we're wrapping up star students. I just have a couple kiddos left. And when we finish that, we're going to dive into our illustrator unit as writers. The kids are really going to focus on making great illustrations, details, uh, not scribbling, and trying to stay in the lines as we're illustrating, uh, much like a professional illustrator would do. And then over time, we're going to graduate as illustrators. We'll have a little party and we will... Uh, delve in further as actual authors and writing more and more words um, and sentences. When your child uh, starts coming home with some work that looks like this, there's usually a big illustration and then some writing place on the bottom. As of right now, I'm not expecting any words to be written, but I, I do tell them if you feel motivated to try to sound out a word to describe your illustration, you can try to be an author and write that word. And uh, this last week we were talking about a little girl who was frustrated in a story and I said, you know, mad might be a word you can write because we've learned M, A, and D, the M, A and d. and so a lot of them wrote mad and they did a really great job uh, they're also welcome if they have a word that they want to try to spell uh, mrs cal and i go around and help them at that time um, while i'm on the topic of talking about papers that are coming home you might have started to notice that i'm using a few different symbols on top of their page these are universal grading symbols that we use in kindergarten across the board uh, if you see a plus that means that they've established that skill that they're using it in their day-to-day 
um, that I can count on them to use that moving forward and they're ready to build upon that skill. If you see a slash, that means that it's emerging. Uh, maybe they needed some help, but they definitely were headed in the right direction. If you see a minus sign, um, that means that they still ha are deficient in some way, shape, or form. They need more help and I um, cannot build upon that skill quite yet. Uh, those uh, symbols will also be used on the report card and they also align with percentages. I will send home a little picture uh, with those symbols and where the percentages fall in line. In kindergarten, the kids are graded on standards by these symbols. They do not get A, B, C, D, or F. Uh, a lot of you probably already know that from having previous children in kindergarten. So you might have a paper that comes home and it might have um, a plus or something like this. You can usually tell when it's my handwriting in a thicker marker. But sometimes you might see this symbol come home. We just started this today, a capital T circled. That means we did that page together. So today's math, for example, was about making 10. Uh, addition is not something we've broached yet. However, we are talking about 10 friends, how when we have a a 10 frame like this right here, if we divide it into parts, uh, we know that we have 10. And so we were talking about numbers we could put together to make 10. For some, this concept went right over their heads and for some, they, the light bulbs were turning on. That's a skill that we'll work on a lot, uh, but that little T in the circle, the uppercase T in a circle means that we did the page together. Uh, let's see here. I think that's everything I wanted to touch base on. I just figured instead of trying to type this all up, it might be a little easier to message you. And plus, I like to show face from time to time. I'm with your kids so much uh, and they know me and can read my facial expressions and my um, my quirkiness, but it doesn't always come across on dojo messages. Uh, if you need anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. This class is doing a fantastic job. I know that we'll have uh, 21 readers in here when uh, the year comes to a close, so I'm super duper excited. Uh, have a great uh, rest of the week, and I'll be around.